God, please. Please, Lord. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shayi, and this is The Daily Shayi, where we talk about all things life, style, beauty, etc., etc. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. Today, I decided to do a three strand twist out on my 4B, 4C hair. And I just wanted to see, can my hair stand up to it? Can it actually take the definition? And as you can already see, yes, it can. Yes, it can. If you would like to see how to do three strand twists and how to get some definition as song, then just continue watching. I am going to be using the Twist Defining Cream by As I Am. Uh, to basically, I'm just gonna run that literally all through the hair. I'm not necessarily using it for each twist. Rubbing it on my hand and then I'm literally just kind of rubbing it through my hair to start. And I'm using a different gel today because you know, we're trying to provide variety. There's a black owned beauty supply if you live in LA, um, in North Hollywood. Obviously right now, like their physical location is shut down, but they do have an online store and they have all these products, which is where I got this as I am. And they sent me a couple products and I was like, bad, that's so cool. So it's just very refreshing to see a black owned beauty supply. So if you're in the North Hollywood area, the beauty supply store is called Beauty Bees Beauty Supply. That is Beauty Bees. So yes, go support them. And then obviously you can always support them online as well during this quarantine period. So as you heard in the beginning of the video, we are attempting three strand twist today. I saw my friend Amina do it on her head and it came out so nice. So I want to just try it out on like a 4B, 4C hair. And I think this time we're definitely aiming for definition over volume. Now I'm taking a wide tube comb and just detangling. You kind of tell I'm like taking my time with detangling the ends first because I don't want to put too much tension on my hair. Also, like, I just don't want it to hurt. So here's the size of my section. Now I'm gonna go on with this Curly Curl Jello by Talia Wajid. Such a nice name, oh my God. Uh, and it's a conditioning and hydrating gel. Ooh, that has nice slip. Whoa. We're gonna take one section. You want them to be as even as possible if you can. One section, one section, one section. I'm gonna take this one first, which is the one um, closer to my right. And then I'm going to wrap that and then grab the other two. So this one was that was closer to my right is now over here. The one that was on the left, further left is now in the middle. And the one that was in the middle is now on the right. Now I'm gonna take the right one again and twist. And so now the one that was on the further right is on the left. On the left is in the middle, the middle is in the right, and now I'm gonna take that last piece, which is this one right here, and wrap it. It's wrap for this right piece, wrap for this right piece, wrap. And you just wanna do that until you get to the end of the kit. I just kind of do a regular two strand twist, like right at the very, very end. I usually just kind of slip and roll the hair around itself to make sure that the ends are properly curled. All right, so as you can see, I have both sides done. I think there's about nine on each side. So with the last twist I did, it was like six on each side. So I did make these smaller because I do just wanna see how much definition can a definition get if a definition could get some definition. definition. So I think I'm actually gonna do my side part this way because I always do this way. So we're just gonna switch it up and do this way, you know? New tings, new tings. And now I'm gonna take the gel and I'm just gonna rub my hands through my hair. What I was also doing was adding some oil just to give my hair, you know, some extra love and to seal in all the products and just to make sure that my hair isn't like super dry. Split it into three, far right piece and flip it over the other two pieces. Then now you have a new far right piece and you're gonna flip that over the two pieces 
then you have this like technically final far right piece and you're gonna flip that over and then you literally just keep doing that if you find yourself losing your place as i just did then all you need to do is just kind of make you know two new pieces and then just continue with the same method as you get towards the end i just go back to two strand twists and once i get to the tippy tippy ends i just wrap my finger or wrap the hair around my finger and then leave it like that So this is what we are working with. I definitely off the bat like this method better just because I feel like it's definitely laying down better. That's it. So just stay tuned because we're going to take these out tomorrow and see what they're looking like. Fingers crossed that they actually look good. Fingers crossed that I'm not dealing with any super flakiness. That would suck. But even if we are, we're gonna try to make it work. All right, y'all, it is day two. We are back. The twists are dry. I have here the Talia Waji. This is the same brand of the gel that I used to do the twist. And they have this curl shine spray. So I'm first going to just spray my hair with that because I feel like, ooh. <coughs> I just feel like my roots need a little extra love. And then I'm going to take that same oil, you guys know the same oil that I've been using, and I'm just gonna put that in the palm of my hands like I usually do, rub it in, and start taking down the twist. So I first kind of coat the twist in like the oil. So let's see what this looks like. God, please. Please, Lord. That'll look okay. Okay. I'm looking at my monitor to see. Okay, that's defined. I don't know if you guys can tell, but okay, it's kind of sticking up this way. She's doing one of these, but you can kind of tell it. There's some definition there. <laughs> Might have just did something. I really like the definition I'm seeing. <laughs> it's way more defined than the other twist I did. And I'm sort of unraveling the twist first. So I twisted it this way. And so I'm unraveling it this way, obviously, but like not taking it apart, but literally like twisting it the opposite way to kind of just start the unraveling process. And then I pull it apart. Hopefully that makes sense. So I twisted it this way. So I'm just literally twisting it this way. So then you could kind of see it kind of opens it up on its own and then I pull it apart. All right, so we're just gonna start kind of splitting these apart. Little by little. Pick in hand. Now, let us try to get some. Oh, I am combing this the wrong way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot that I had my hair on this side. I'm just gonna go back and forth with the pick fluffing and basically kind of taking the curls apart as I see fit just to give me the volume that I am looking for. So hair has been floofed, stretched to how I want it. And you know what? I don't know if it's the combination of the products I use with the three strand, but I most definitely prefer the way my hair is looking right now. It for one looks a bit more fluffy. I don't know how to describe it, but it just looks fluffy. And I don't know if you could tell, but it's definitely a bit more defined. Um, like I can just tell just from looking at the screen, like it just looks like you can see more of the curls. Let me try to show y'all the back. This little side profile situation just looks good. It just looks like nicely curved and it just looks defined. Ah, oh, God. So 
I already did this out last time, so I'm just gonna kind of switch it up a little bit, just a little bit. And I tested it out in the bathroom and I like the way it looks. So I'm just gonna take two bobby pins and I'm going to basically pinch my hair right here and then clip as so. So pulling it back kind of, yeah, ooh hoo hoo. I'm gonna take another bobby pin and do the exact same thing. And then I'm gonna take a bigger bobby pin. This one is like more of a bronze color and it's much bigger than the other ones. And I'm literally just applying that for extra hole, but also just for decoration. There it is. There we go. Now we have the final, final result. And uh -huh, I am so pleased, wow. Wow, wow, wow. These are three strand twists on 4B, 4C hair. So just so y'all get an idea, we can do this hairstyle. We do get the definition. Given that I got this definition with limited product, I definitely think that if you added more product, then you could definitely get like even more definition on your hair. But I am very pleased with this. I am very pleased and <laughs> I ain't got nowhere to go, but look at maybe a selfie or two will be taken just to, you know, commemorate how good this came out. So thank y'all so much for watching as always. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Until next time. Bye. How did I win half when I flipped it in a double? How did I win half when I flipped it in a double?